March is Fraud Prevention Month, and it comes at a time when Toronto police have issued a public safety alert warning of cryptocurrency scams. Criminals are using data sites and social media to try to scam investors with the promise of easy money. Pat Foran's got the story on Consumer Alert. Pat. Nathan and Michelle, we've all heard stories of people making fortunes investing in cryptocurrency, so thieves are targeting people who want to make money. But there are many scams to watch out for. We spoke with one man who just lost $260,000. So I go to the bank, I take out three withdrawals of cash. Uh, 250000 and then the other one was 30000 James asked us not to reveal his identity. He was on a dating website when a woman said she could show him how to make money investing in cryptocurrencies. He started off with $1,000, but eventually handed over 260000 It appeared he was making money, but in the end, he lost it all. I'm devastated. I'm absolutely devastated about it. You know, I, I couldn't eat. For at least six days, it's, you know, I'm still in the process of, of recovering because, you know, they pretty much flushed me out. Toronto police say they've seen an increase in the number of fraud cases related to cryptocurrency scams. It starts with the promise of easy money. The emails, the text, the downloads are sent to anyone and everyone, so it doesn't discriminate. Scammers will ask victims to invest a small amount to earn their trust. They use fake websites that show massive profits and then ask for more money. Once they obtain your personal data and your personal information, it's given to a a fake uh, investment broker. Cryptocurrency fraud is happening worldwide and a group the Global Anti-Scam Organization says criminals will use various methods to manipulate victims into giving them money. You have scammers who are talking to their victims for months um, sort of just trying to gain their trust and they'll talk to their um, victims for hours on end. Once a victim hands over their funds they can be nearly impossible to trace and get back. James shared his story to warn others. So I would highly suggest not to take any financial advice from people online that you've never actually shook hands with or met in person. And scammers may allow you to take out a small amount of your money to gain your trust, but once you invest a lot, you won't be able to remove any of it. They may say you need to pay taxes or other fees to get your funds, but making you pay more is just another part of the scam. On your side, I'm Pat Foran. If you have a consumer story idea, email us at alert at ctv.ca.